Hello? Hi, this is Tiffany with the service department, giving you a follow-up call about your car's warranty. We have been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. This is your final courtesy call before we close out your file. Press 2 to decline this offer and be placed on our do not call list. Or if you would like to speak to an advisor about possibly extending or reinstating your car's extended warranty, press 1 now. Thank you for transferring to warranty services. Can you verify that you're making model of your vehicle? It is a Subaru Impreza. 2010. And do you know if your vehicle has over 150,000 miles on it, sir? It has 57,000 miles. Okay, sir, can you verify your first and last name? Okay, Mr. Ryan, can I just have your zip code? Okay, sir, I'm going to put you on a brief hold while I get you connected over to a specialist. Okay. No problem. Hello? How are you doing, Chris? Yes. Yes, Chris. My name is Zachary, and I'm one of the licensed cover specialists here. I hope you're doing well today. And I the am. reason for the call is because we wanted to offer you the final opportunity to claim more coverage on your vehicle, sir, before we close out your file. Okay. All right? Yeah. Are you planning to keep your vehicle full while, sir? Uh, probably for a couple more years. Okay. All right. Now, since we don't require a physical inspection, I just need to ask you a few qualifying questions about the running conditions of the vehicle just to make sure there's no issues that disqualify you from getting any coverage and also this call is recorded for your protection and ours okay all right now tell me about your subaru have you noticed any check engine lights on or fluid leaking nope no nope. no problem with that okay all right and have you done any modifications or alterations to your vehicle like after micro parts no Okay, perfect, sir. And how long have you been driving your vehicle? How long have you been driving it? Uh, since uh, it was... Yes, sir. I bought it new. Okay, so this is 2010? You're right. So that would be eight years? Okay, all right, no problem, sir. Okay. That'll be nine years. That's no problem. Now... The last thing is your vehicle registered for personal use or commercial use, sir? Personal use. Okay. So you have status on the recorded call. There's no pre existing conditions. I'll disqualify you from getting any coverage. So that's perfect for you. So I'm going to open up the highest level of coverage your Subaru qualifies for. Okay. Now, this will be the last time we can offer the coverage for your uh, Subaru. So you'll need to either accept or decline the offer today. Now, if you decline the offer, we don't allow any callbacks to activate the coverage. It's nothing personal against you. The reason is, is we don't require a physical inspection. And this helps us eliminate the possibility of someone waiting for their vehicle to have a mechanical issue, and then calling us back to apply the coverage, and we don't allow that. Right, sir? Makes sense. And before I begin, is there any questions just yet so far? Uh, no, nothing so far. Okay, all right. Now, do you have a pen and paper handy something to write with? Yep, I do. You got it? All right, sir. Now, the first thing is your new coverage is going to give an additional four years and up to 100,000 miles. Okay. Now, this will take you out to April 3rd, 2023. Or when your mileage hits 101,000 miles. Great. Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay, sir. My bad. It's not 
101,000, it's 158,000. All right. 158,000. All right. Okay. Now, the protection plan will cover all the components that are the highest risk of uh, breaking down. So, like, the most expensive to fix, like, your engine, transmission, your cooling system, your timing belt, your drive axle, your air conditioning, and also electrical items like your alternator, your water pump, your fuel pump, and even the small electrical items like your windshield wiper motors, your power window motors, and even the seals and gases associated with those parts as well. So anytime the vehicle would have a problem, you'll take it back to your local Subaru dealership. All right? How about the sun, sunroof tail? Excuse me, sir? Uh, the sunroof seal, does that cover that too if there's a leak in the sunroof? Never had any problems, but just wondering about that. Yeah, so anything that's electrical, um, it will be covered. Anything that's electrical in your vehicle. Oh, so the seal around a sunroof wouldn't be covered. Just the if a motor failed. No, with the motor, yes. That, so that will be covered. Okay, if but the motor not, not fail in this situation. It will be covered. Right. So if there's a leak or something, that wouldn't. No, if there's a leak, then that would that would be a personal uh, thing that you would have to go to your dealership to, uh, or a mechanic that you you know know that's verified, and then you would talk to them about that. And it shouldn't it shouldn't cost a lot. It might take you to get that fixed. So. Okay. All right. All right, sir. Um, and how long you've been? So you've been driving your vehicle for nine years. Oh, well, was, oh, so you don't drive it much? Right. I just go. I take the train to work every day, so it just sets me to a train station. Oh, well, that's actually really cool. So, oh wow. Okay. 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 So. When do you do use your car? You don't. You just. You don't ever use it, or. Uh, I I take it to the train station to go to work, and I take the train to work. So and then maybe occasionally I'll take a trip for, on a weekend, but that's about it. Oh wow! Yeah, because fifty-seven thousand miles in nine years is pretty ridiculous. So that's actually insane. That's really insane, actually. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's, it runs well. I don't have much problem no. with it, so. Yeah, yeah, you don't run into a lot of problems because you don't drive it as much um, in that situation. So, what would you be looking for warranty for? What would I be looking for? I don't want any surprise expenses or anything like that because it is getting old. You don't drive it a lot, you know, in this situation. So do you think that it should still deserve any warranty on your vehicle? It should still be under warranty? It's more than 10 years. I mean, it's not more than 10 years, sorry. Getting to be 10 years. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Now, back to the warranty, it will, you will only be responsible for it a hundred dollar deductible on any cover for repair. So we pay all parts, labor, diagnostics, and taxes. So for example, let's say you're on the road and your engine and transmission will go at the same time. You're looking at a four thousand dollar repair bill. Okay. Now with us all you have to do is pay a hundred dollar deductible. Okay. Now instead of paying the four thousand, which can lead up to labor work, uh, the cost of price and the parts and the diagnosis and taxes and all, all can lead up to that kind of money. Now, with us, all you have to do is pay a hundred dollars deductible. Does that make any sense to you, sir? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay, and also for signing up today, your protection plan, it'll come with a couple additional benefits, okay? So it'll come with towing, roadside assistance, 
and a rental coverage. So if you're ever running a gas, you, you lock your key in your car, you simply need to jump, you'll call the 1-800 number on your membership card, okay? So let's say your car breaks down, and a tow truck will come out and bring you to the nearest dealership. And if repairs take a few hours long as to repair, sir, you will receive a rental vehicle. And your deductibles are associated with these benefits. They're complimentary with your coverage. So what this means, sir, is that the $100 deductible does not need to uh, be paid when you get these benefits because they are for free for you. All right, sir? All right. Now, do you have any questions about the coverage at this point, other than the cost? Uh, what company is this covering doing the coverage? Yes, sir. So this is auto warranty services, and all the servicing will be done at your local um, Subaru dealership. You'll get everything in the mail, seven to ten business days on your policy, and who's underwriting the policy? Uh. So this, so if I go to like a of local course. mechanic or something, I I I know somebody local that I take my car to for minor stuff, mm-hmm. fixing a flat or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, would they be able? Would they accept it or mm-hmm. is it is it universal? I I, I don't yes, know. Yes, sir. So as long as they're licensed and yes, sir. So as long as they're licensed and certified, um, they will be able to do that for you. Okay. All right. Yeah. How how does that work? How does do do I just? Well, I guess it would be nothing I get in the mail. I know other questions. Well, what happened is that you would go to your mechanic and then you would give them uh, the number, um, and then they would call the number, and instead of you paying up to that much money, you only be paying the hundred dollar deductible. Okay. Okay. Is there any other questions you have besides the cost? Uh, no. No. Okay. And do you still make payments on your vehicle, sir? No. Which is why I want to keep it. Okay. No problem. Okay. No problem, sir. Now, we do have two options for you, and I'll go over the promotional plan with you now okay now sir this will be zero interest and it comes down to one thousand and two dollars a year for four years and an activation fee of 232 with 15 installments of 251 and you're done leaving you covered for two and a half years free of payments and then we can initiate your coverage on any visa mastercard discovered american express so how much? Should I, I'm sorry. How much do I have to put down now? Yes, that'll be two thirty-two for the activation fee. So two hundred thirty-two dollars, and all right. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And, and then the two fifty-one a month for fifteen months. So and then you're covered for two and a half years for your payments after that, sir. So. 232 and 151 per month. 251 for the month. So next month I would have to pay 251. Yes, sir. So Okay, so when does this plan start? This plan starts? Yeah. Whenever you activate the coverage, sir. So if I buy today, it's going to start coverage today? No, sir. So you do have to wait a 30 day miles, uh, 30 day and a thousand miles grace period. So um, doing to not uh, doing a physical inspection. So before I can get coverage, I would have spent nearly $500. No. I would pay two thirty two today and then two fifty one next month. Comes to four eighty three. Mm, yes. Hmm? 
So it would be nearly five hundred dollars before I actually any coverage starts. No. Uh, Only two thirty-two. Right. That's for now. But you say I have to wait thirty days before I can get coverage or a thousand miles. But in my case, it's going to be more than it'll be thirty days because I don't do a thousand miles that quickly. So I can cancel it within 30 days. I can't see anything sure. until I get it in the mail, which doesn't matter because I don't get coverage until 30 days anyway. Um, and then... Uh, no, sir, so you do get it um, through your email on the policy and who's underwriting the policy within 24 hours. And then you do get in the mail seven to seven business days. Okay. So I get stuff today to read. Yes, sir but won't get anything physical until, like, next week or something like that. You will receive an email today from us, sir. Right, that's what I just said. It has a copy of your policy and was underwriting the policy. Right, so... Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just concerned that I would be spending $480 on this before I actually can get any cover. Okay, so so the thing that's holding it back is your budget, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I would say it's a budget thing, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, I can respect that. I know you're expecting this kind of opportunity today, but if this does fit in your budget, you would like to take advantage of it, wouldn't you? Well, I, I, the problem is I would like to see the contract. I don't know what the... I mean, you, you talk about a lot of stuff coverage, but is it 100% coverage? Is it 40% coverage? Is it arbitrary coverage? So you come in, you check out the... Somebody looks at the vehicle says, oh, well, that's a pre-existing condition. It's, it's bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. But that doesn't... So, but the tires aren't covered. Tires are between the bumpers. I can tell you what we don't cover so you can at least have an idea. I mean, I, I'm just asking that because I know of another coverage that locally here, AAA, uh, they they give me a discount if I get new tires when the first 2,000 miles of signing up through AAA in Massachusetts. Okay, sir. So that... Uh... That's what I've been looking at, so I'm just kind okay, of... Sir. Just give me a second, sir. Yep. Yeah, I can understand that. Just give me a second, sir. Um, just, just give me a little bit, all right? Uh, this is Chris, yes. Hi, Chris. My name is Sam. I'm one of the senior coverage specialists here. I was speaking with Zachary, and he asked me to help you out a little bit, see if we can do anything to make this make a little bit more sense for you to make it fit your budget. Okay. So let's see here. You have a 2010 Subaru Impreza. Yep. And I believe where the com the miscommunication was is he was trying to explain to you that your initial down payment is two thirty two, and that would be for today to reinstate your coverage and to give you the extension. So that would take you out to twenty twenty three, or when your odometer reads one hundred and fifty eight thousand miles. Right. Now we are going to give you thirty days, sir. So right. once you begin your initial payment, you'll have 30 days to review your policy. And we're going to send you a copy of your policy in your email today. So you're going to, you'll are gonna be able to review all the details and all the ins and outs of it. So that 30 days is for both you and us. 
we want to make sure that there's no pre-existing conditions or anything wrong with your vehicle first. And then that's also for you, sir. So if you feel like this is not something that you want to move forward with, you don't want to, you want to terminate your policy, you can call us at any time and we'll provide you with your initial payment back. That's no problem, sir. Your next payment would begin 30 days after your initial payment. So for this month, it would be 232, and then next month would begin your 15 installments. And you would also begin your policy. You can use your policy in 30 days. So would it be the first of the month, or when I start, when I get the thing in the mail, when does it, when does the 30 days start? It would begin today, sir. 30 days or 1,000 miles. You'll receive your, your all of your documents in the mail within 7 to 10 business days as well, sir. Okay. So the other issue that I had was, um, uh, this, so this AAA service of Massachusetts offers an incentive program where they will provide a discount if I get new tires as part of their program, of their extended warranty program. Is that oh, very cool. So I don't know if that's something that you guys offer. They're not, it's okay, not sir. like they're giving free tires. It's just a... So actually... Yeah, like a little, just a little incentive. I see what you're saying, sir. So though actually we do the same thing, um, except how we do it is we usually wait a few months after your first month you're with us. Uh, we will, we do send you either a gas card or a maintenance card, but what we can do is we can apply that to your initial payment. So today it would only be 132 for you to begin. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a financial incentive, uh, but it doesn't help if I need to get new tires or something like that. I mean, I guess it does because it's less money I'd be paying off, off of this. I mean, you can still, you, you don't have to take the, uh, you don't have to take it, sir. You can still wait and we'll send you that card. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would have, I, I, like I said, I already looked at the AAA of Massachusetts and I think that they're, program is uh, less money down and uh, they have uh, certainly have more incentives. It's not about money, but it's just, uh, I think it's a little bit better than coverage wise. So I'm probably going to stick with them. Well, we offer you that same incentive, sir. You didn't say anything about tires. If they're, if you're just, offering you're just you, giving me you know, a, just a set of new tires. Um, well, no, it's a maintenance card, sir. We either send you a maintenance card for, like, your tires, the oil changes, things like that, or it's a gas card. Either way, it's $100. We can apply it to your initial down payment, or you can wait and get the card and get the card after you speak in your policy. Yeah. All right. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'm going to have to decline the offer, then. Thank you, though. Okay, sir. So if it's, it's not a budgeting issue, it's just, is it just hey, I mean, it is, but the other company that quoted you? it is a budgeting issue, but there are other incentives that they, they offer. And I was able to at least read the contract, read the terms, and to understand that the company that's being covered, here I have no idea which co company is covered. Cause, yeah, of course. So it's just kind of like, uh, I don't know if my... We would be doing that for you as well, sir. No, I know that, but I know my dealer doesn't tell me. I don't know if my dealer will accept it. So uh, I don't want to give a, a credit card... To a company. Who's your dealer? Who's my dealer? It's a local garage. Okay, but, sir. So as long as they're a certified repair shop, sir, we are nationwide. Um, I'm sure Zachary told you this is warranty services, sir. So we directly handle all the extensions and the renewals for the manufacturer's vehicle service agreement. So all of your servicing can either be done directly through Subaru, the dealership, or you can go to, if you feel, you know, you can more comfortable going to a trusted certified repair shop, sir. That's absolutely fine. Now, if it's, we do have other programs, sir. Uh, with, Ma with Zachary quoted you was just our, our promotional plan. That was just our, our fast start plan. We do have other programs that we can go over with you. Yeah, I, I don't think... So. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you, uh, where do you work? I work in the city. I take the train to work every day. City of Boston. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which is why I don't have that many miles. Definitely. I remember that. I used to live in. Yeah. That's good, though. So it's definitely going to last you a while. Right. Well, let me see what I can do for you, sir. No, I no, definitely no, want to I, earn I, I your don't trust. Want, I don't want you to and, waste any more of your time. And I appreciate the opportunity. And thank you very much.